Claire, Elijah is going to call back. It has nothing to do with anything that you said. No. Look, he's going to call back soon because all the man cares about is the money. Now, just remember that I've got all the resources in the city working on this. We've got the FBI. There's an Amber Alert. <sighs> Darling, uh, someone's at the door. Uh, uh, courage, chérie. Stay strong. <sighs> Oh, it's you. Please, uh, come in. Thank you. Pardon me for asking, but, oh, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had a, a skin cancer removed. I'm fine. How are you holding up? All, all I want is my girls to be home and safe and, and, of course, to have that psycho get what he deserves. Dorian, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, you can stop looking at me with so much concern and pity. Unless, of course, you would like me to look at you with concern and pity because Echo de Savoy is back in town. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Brody, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, I just brought Jess some dinner. Uh, I'm going to grab a quick shower before I head back to the station. It's going to be a long night. Is there a break in the case? Eli Clark showed up at the hospital today while we were at the doctor's office. What do you mean? He just waltzed right into the hospital. Why? He tried to kill Greg Evans. I just missed grabbing him. I won't miss next time. Brody, don't be a hero. That's how I lost my son. How's my Georgia O'Keefe? How'd you know I was sketching New Mexico? It's Georgia O'Keeffe territory. See, I just need the name. Maybe you're psychic, and that's why you're such a great detective. Too bad I couldn't tune in Echo de Savoy. Oh, how's that case going? She skipped out on the Minuteman Motel without paying her bill. I need to find out where she went. This is one of my favorite rooms. Oh. You can see the courtyard. Oh. It's a little dark, but it's like the primo view. Well, it's, it's... And you get fresh towels. Every couple of days. Oh, it's charming. It's exactly what I was looking for. And it's so much cleaner than the Minute Man Motel. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. I got toilets cleaner than that joint. Oh, well, I wish I'd seen this place first. I swear they had bed bugs. Well, then you ought to take advantage of our deluxe laundry service and right away. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure I will. No, I love it. I do. It's so much more down to earth than the palace. I need something low profile for my work. Oh, Groovy, you're going to be snug as a slug in a mug. I just need that deposit. Did you hear what Nate just said? That Clark only let Manning talk to Danny, not Star. There could be a reason. I don't understand why, though. It's a kidnapping. I mean, he wants to collect money for all three of them. So he would have to prove that he had all three of them and that they're safe and alive. So why wouldn't he prove that he had Star? Pretty good pitch, wasn't it? Well, we got the ball the way through the window. Someone's gonna find it. And when they do, they'll have more snacks, right? Don't worry. We're gonna be okay. Nice try, Star. Hey, Gigi. You ready to show me your class assignment? Right now? Not exactly. You really want to clear your schedule, don't you? What's up? Layla's coming in from Paris tomorrow. Oh, okay, I guess for true love, I can make an exception and show you something this rough. You can stay. Uh, yeah, I wish. 
My next lead just came in. Too bad it's a clunky candle. Later. Have a seat, Christian. Rex has been so hostile about Clint lately, I don't know. Have a word. Rex, boss. How's life treating you and yours? Hmm? Looks like Gigi's taking to her new job. Yeah, she likes it. Mostly, she's just glad she got to stay in school. I was happy to help. I love it when everybody works together. Who cares if it happens at gunpoint? Are we talking about you or David Vickers? Neither one of us had much of a choice, did we? Oh, no, no. You could have gone to Kelly and told them that you found David. Yeah, sure, if I want to see Gigi drop out of school. You're protecting her. That's good. That's very good. Believe me, that's all I'm doing with Dorian. Trust me, the truth would not help her at all. Is that what you told yourself when you cheated on Vicky with Echo de Savoy? I take cash, money order, credit card. Yes, sure. You know, I'll even take an in-state check if you got two forms of ID. Oh, well, I don't think that's going to be necessary. What? Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just distracted. I... I got something in my no, teeth. No, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but you know, you have perfect bone structure. You must have modeled. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Oh, no, I'm serious. Really, I would love to take your picture. Well, you know, I've been asked that before, but uh, never from a woman. And you ought to oh. know up front, you know, I'm not bilingual or anything <laughs> no, like no, that. No, 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 I, I, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm a photographer. Um, let me know if you ever need any new shots taken. Oh, wow. Echo de Savoy. Mm -hmm. New York, London, Paris, Milan, Rio. <sighs> wow. You work all these places? Oh, yes, yes, and here, too. I, I uh, actually used to work for the Banner. Really? Mm -hmm. Your name doesn't look familiar to me. Well, it was a long time ago. Vicki Banks and I go way back. Oh, so you know people here? I know a lot of people, including the mayor. In fact, I just took a whole series of photographs for Dorian and her family. Echo showed up here this morning with her camera, practically pushed her way through the door, and said that she could help find Star and Hope and Danielle. And how exactly was that supposed to work? By putting our family's grief on display. Oh, I haven't say yes. According to Echo, she could take photographs that would personalize the crisis and magically produce leads that would lead to the girl's safe return. I'll bet she gave you a good bargain price for those photos, too. She's a vulture, Dorian. She needs money. So how much do you usually charge? Well, my rates are a bit steep. Well, you know, with the economy and everything, it's a really bad time for the beauty business. I own a salon, Foxy Roxy's Hair Haven. Yes, well, I'm sure you probably have great photographs already. I mean, that is the only way to sell a personal business these days. Really, you think? Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, Roxy, if you need photos for your business, maybe we can work something out. Could I see some pictures you took of Dorian? Because if you can make her look good, you can oh, make well, anybody actually, look good. Oh, well, actually, I can't good. show you those photographs um, until they're printed. It was an exclusive deal, but I do have something else if you'd like to see my work. Um, huh, let's see. Doesn't Chuckles look great? <laughs> you calling Vicky Chuckles? No, Charlie. Oh, you know Charlie. Oh, he is the best. Yes, I know. You found that? There's nobody else here except me, you, and this ball. So you can stop looking. But I... I, I heard it hit the pavement. Yeah, the little no-neck monster across the street picked it up. You're lucky I found him when I did. What did you do, grab it out of his hands? No, I convinced him it was a game and he bought it. Thank God he didn't show it to his mom or else this would be a very different conversation. Well, he could still tell his mom about it. Don't you see how difficult this is? Oh, please, the neighbors are nothing compared to your nosy boyfriend. Cole's suspicious of you, isn't he? He found out that you're hiding something? Not Cole. James. Looks a mean ass over here. He probably just wants to see Manning suffer. Yeah, but he really wants him to pay up. Well, maybe he thinks he'll pay up sooner if so he can get to Star. 
Or maybe he wants him to think the stars hurt so he can move faster. Who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe. What? It's just Hannah O'Connor. She was really acting freaky. Hannah is freaky. What are you thinking? That she could... But Bobby, I mean, are what are you thinking? Are you thinking that Hannah kidnapped Star and Hope? Because that's nuts. Is it? Don't tell me Echo had the nerve to hit you up for money, too. Oh, I think I was actually her first stop in Landview. Yes, she wanted a job at the Banner. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's now part of her story. You turned her down, and oh, you're going to be sorry for that. She actually said that? Oh my <laughs> God, what nerve! Nerve? No, if I hadn't threatened to have her arrested, she'd still be here in this living room, snapping away. What? I just seem to remember that you and Echo were great friends. Charlie and I are best buds. We hang together all the time. So how do you know the guy? Oh, well, Charlie and I knew each other years ago after I left Landview the first time. He helped me pick up the pieces after I ended things with Clint. Clint Buchanan? Yes, we had an affair years ago. It's old news. So you had an affair with Charlie after you had an affair with Clint. <laughs> Way to go, girl. You slept with two of Vicky's husbands. Yes. Well, I felt terrible, actually, about what happened with Clint. And Charlie wasn't with anyone at the time. He wasn't married. When we were together, he was so much fun then. Was he drinking? Because he gets crazy when he drinks. Oh, yeah. You know, he almost landed himself in jail. Vicky and him almost split for good. They've split before? Oh, no, no, but, you know, they came close. And uh, Charlie kind of fell off the wagon, but everybody understood on account of Jared. Who? Charlie's son. Charlie has a son? Charlie, I won't take any stupid risks. Good. I mean, yeah, I mean, just thinking about Jared and when Mitch was holding Natalie and Jessica, I mean, he didn't even think about the danger there in it. They got him killed. Jared saved them. Yeah. I miss him, too. Especially right now. Why now? It's just... Stuff with the baby. It'd be good to be able to talk to him. Hey, I know all about it, Vicky told me. And I'll tell you uh, something. And if it was me, I would want to throttle that son of a bitch Ford. But come on. I mean, you can talk to me. I know you want to help, James. But it's a big jump from Hannah having your little chain to Hannah kidnapping two people. You didn't hear her. Okay. How did she say she got it? She said Cole found it, got mad and threw it out, and then Hannah dug it out of the trash to return it to me? <laughs> Sounds fine to me. Why don't you believe her? Hannah, this is not going to work. <sighs> Tell me about it. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. But... If you weren't willing to cooperate, there's not much I can do. This isn't going to end very well for you, Star. Man, it's just this gut feeling. You know, the more Hannah talked, the more I knew. And she was so intense about Cole and her being together. She was like that with me, too. That's just Hannah. No, oh, Bobby, you remember Commissioner Buchanan talking at the police station, right? about Lieutenant McBain seeing Eli Clark and Danny get into the car that got away, but not Star. She was in the back seat. No, 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 that's just what they're assuming. So, wait, what? You, you think Hannah kidnapped Star from her kidnapper? Maybe Hannah, maybe she's in on it with Eli Clark. I mean, because he would use her if it would help him, right? And Hannah would definitely help if it meant getting rid of Star. That would be seriously twisted. So, man, she fooled everybody into thinking that she was sick. Maybe she's fooling everyone into thinking she's better. Come on, Bobby. You seriously don't think that she could be capable of this? 